MMA. I'm Mark Gilston. This is my friend Justin. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about throwing, uh, basically judo throwing techniques with no gi. Uh, still with the idea of using these for BJJ. So there's a lot of different kinds of throws, just as in judo, uh, also a lot of different kinds of grips. And depending upon what kind of grip you have will determine what kind of throw works best for you. Uh, it also makes a difference as to whether your partner has a wrestling background or a judo background, or if really they're just sort of, they're doing BJJ without any kind of take that experience. Um, I like, when possible, to get the so-called collar and elbow uh, tie-up. A lot of wrestlers like this a lot. Um, I always want to have pressure on the back of his head. So my elbow is pushing into his chest. My hand is coming back and bringing his head down. This breaks his posture and makes it much easier to throw him. Now, obviously, people are not going to just let you do that. He's going to resist, right? He's going to resist by bringing his head back. Well, when he does that, he's slightly off balance to the back, and I can take advantage of that. So if I can bring his head forward, then I have a lot of uh, leg sweeps and uh, trips mostly going to the side. I'm bringing him around towards me. So the first kind of attack that I would naturally try would be to step past him and turn my body. I want to keep control so I don't let go of this arm by his head. So in this case, I've been able to break his posture. I'm pulling him towards me, stepping to the side and turning around. Follow, following down. This is some kind of a case of hold, case of Katami I can do a regular case of Katami, or if, if you prefer it, you can go for the underhook and lock him up that way. If he moves with me when I start to try and bring him around, this sets him up for hip throws. All right, there's a number of options. I can bring my hand around his head in a headlock kind of position and do uh, what's called the hip wheel koshiguruma. Some people call it the bear throw, kubanagi. Let me do that in slow motion. So I've stepped, but he comes around with me. I close my arm for a headlock. This leg pivots back and I go into a deep squat. My butt is pushing against the side of his hips. I'm pulling his arm across my body. I'm going to turn my head. When I straighten my legs, I always say I punch myself in the foot with my right hand to the left foot. Again, I want to maintain my hold around his head and the arm. So I can go into an arm lock, or I can go into that case of Gatami, the scarf hold. So here, as I move him around, he arches, he straightens his head so that I can't get that headlock. So I come here, but I don't have a headlock. I'm still going to do a hip throw. I'm going to bring him in. This time, though, I'm going to sweep his leg to throw him. So once again, I'm coming in here. He comes with me. When I try and go for the arm lock, he blocks my arm. Still come down with the hip, but I can't bring him forward. So instead, I use my leg sweep and once again follow him down. OK, 
okay. I came in to try and break his posture, but his head goes back, right? He's resisting. I want to take a very, very low stance, come in and sweep his far leg. I feel that resistance. Step together. Now my right foot comes out to the side. When I come down, I want to come over his leg so I don't get caught in a guard. In judo, this would be o uchigari. Very important point, when I sweep, I don't want to lift this leg up. My foot stays in contact with the ground. So I feel the resistance in low, feet together, sweep on the ground, cross my knee, get side control, foot comes away into his hip, into his armpit, one knee in, one knee in each place, establish control. in to sweep him, he moves his foot out of the way. He steps back. Okay, so I'm in this sort of side position. I can't sweep that foot anymore. This foot is now available. This time I cross on the other side. Again, right posture. He resists, come in deep, he steps out of the way, catch the near foot, cross. Once again, when I sweep his foot, my sweeping foot stays on the ground. And again, from here, it's very easy just to sit through into case. Okay, he's real savvy. I break posture, come in, he steps back, try and sweep, he steps back. And there we have the hip throw. Okay. Same thing, come in, he steps out of the way, he steps out of the way, turn the hips. If I can bring his head down off to the side, great. If I can't, we have to sweep. The key in all of these situations is breaking posture. All right, so he doesn't like have to have my hand by his head. Yeah, okay. push it out of the way. All right, he breaks this. Two directions I can go with my arm. I can go down and get my underhook, or I can go over the top. Right. The over the top is a little more natural. It's a much harder throw on him, but it works very well. No gi, particularly in competition, because when I land, I'm going to land on his rib cage and it's going to knock the wind out of him. This is Soto Makikomi, the outer wraparound throw. So I come in, he breaks. Now I'm don't try and clamp the arm. That's a beginner's mistake. My arm goes up and I'm pulling with this arm. Now I'm going to effectively do a shoulder roll. You'll notice that my final position, I have my weight on his rib cage. I can lock up the arm, come underneath and fish. Breaks, breaks my top grip around, hands high, forward roll, scoop the arm up, scoop the arm up, 
Come in the little crack behind his elbow, push his hand down for a straight elbow lock. As soon as I come in for the collar, he immediately pushes my arm out of the way. The other one, from underneath. Right, from here. This time, I want to come around the back. If his arm is trapped, sweet. Usually that's not going to be the case. All right, so I come in, he pushes my arm up. So you get the underhook. When I have this underhook, I want to keep pressure high on his shoulder. I don't want to let him come down and lock me up. This is a whizzer and it's bad for me. He's got a lot of pressure on my shoulder, very hard for me to throw him. So as soon as my arm comes under, everything is up high. Okay, from here, if I can grab this arm, I can sweep this leg. the uchimata in judo, the inner thigh throw. So I'm coming into the underhook. I've got the arm, pulling strong with the arm. This is up. I step back, sweep the leg. Maybe I can't get that arm. Grab around the waist. My hand is Locking around his waist here. I'm gonna duck, get my hips under this thigh. I'm actually gonna hold on to this arm. Come down. So, right down into side control. It's a lot of material, so let's leave it at that for this video. If you have any questions about this or any other kinds of moves that you'd like to see, uh, leave a message in the comments and I'll try and address it in the future video. All right, thank you, Justin. If you like our videos, please click and subscribe to our channel, Serioku Zenyo, meaning maximum efficiency.